John Deere Harvester Works is the largest plant for the production of harvesters in the world. It is located in East Moline, Illinois. It is almost 90 acres under roof. Everything starts in the primary zone, where the most hardworking robot of the plant works, the plasma cutter. An automatic conveyor puts the steel sheets under the plasma cutter, which burns 2.5 centimeters of steel per millisecond. Next comes the production of the heart of the combine, the threshing rotor. This is a cylinder that will separate grain from straw. The first step is to construct a cylinder weighing 450 kilograms. It should be perfectly balanced. The next step is the attachment of single teeth separators, which Harvester harvests grain To check the balance, a balancer is used, a device that measures the irregularities of the rotor with an accuracy of up to 21 grams At the same time, the welding robot finishes manufacturing the concave lattice walls of the rotor. These grids will act as a sieve. The welding robot quickly makes hundreds of welds. And then people check and manually weld hard to reach places. On the opposite side of the workshop, welders are assembling a massive grain hopper. Each bunker has more than 1,000 welding seams. Each worker is responsible for several hundred seams.
Welding of the Harvester Auger The auger is a massive shaft that collects grain and feeds it inside the combine. Everything starts with a machine that makes cylinders with a diameter of 66 cm from three sheets of steel. Then welders weld the cylinders together, obtaining a cropper 11 meters long. After that, they attach a spiral blade to its surface with the help of 92 wedges. Next is the painting shop, where every centimeter of metal is painted in John Deere's signature green color. The painting process consists of three stages, priming, painting and drying. First, all parts are immersed in a bath with a cleaning liquid, where they undergo a 10-stage cleaning necessary to remove residual dirt and grease. Then special conveyors will take the harvester into the furnace. After 70 minutes of drying, the part is ready for final painting. The next step is to cover every centimeter of steel with the first layer of paint. This process is called electrodying. The paint particles receive a positive electrical charge, and the parts of the combine receive a negative charge. The final dyeing takes place according to two-stage technology. First, the paint is applied by special robots. The final touch is made by a person. Painters with airbrushes manually sketch all the observed defects. Then, again for several hours, the parts are fired in a furnace at a temperature of 82 degrees. This guarantees the durability of paint layers. The cropper assembly area is a factory within a factory. 24 different types of croppers are collected here. First, the technicians install the cutting device. These knives are designed to provide a uniform cutting height. To make the cutter even more efficient, workers install ramps. These yellow strips moving along the ground will keep the knives at the right height. Finally, protection against stones is installed. These steel sheets prevent stones from getting inside the cropper. The next important detail is the robbery reel. The reel is 11 meters long and weighs a lot. To install it, you need a jack.